Hey YouTube, welcome to the channel. And this is one great example of why you'd want to be a cyclist. Check it out. Welcome back to the second video here about core exercises. It might be in one video, if it overruns too long, then I'll split it into two videos. I don't want them to be too long. Uh, we'll come back to this. This is the fun part of it. We're gonna do the first bit we're gonna do is more, we're gonna move on to your next exercise, a bit more advanced, actually give you a bit of a workout. This is a workout I do at the moment. So uh, we're gonna we're go in for that. And then afterwards we'll do some fun stuff that you can do with your core that, that makes a good game of it. So this we'll come back to later. So all you're going to need uh, now is uh, some sort of stopwatch. So hopefully you've, uh, from the last uh, video, you've spent a week uh, working on your core. You've got great control over it. You know what it is. You know where it is. You know how it feels. You know how you can contract it, and you can know you can hold your hold that in and still control your breathing. So we're going to move on to uh, some more cool stuff, some more advanced stuff, um, uh, and give you a bit of a workout off the back of it. So. All we're going to focus on now is your dish, and uh, we're, we're going to go into a bit of a warm up first. So I've done a little bit of a warm up already, um, but now we're going to do more on your core. So you don't need that to start with. We'll just leave that up there. So uh, your dish, um, it's called a dish because of the shape of the dish that you're doing. Now the, the aim of the game here is you want to uh, raise your arms and your feet in the air. But you want to do it so that your lower back is flat against the floor. Now you might want to be like straight up. Uh, the, the weaker your core, the weaker your lower back, the higher your hands and legs are. So the stronger your core, where you've got that control, where you can still push that core muscle down. So you've got a flat back, the lower you go like that. So wherever you are, you might start off somewhere up here and then over the weeks and stuff like that, you're going to work your way down. Just make sure that your back is flat, okay? And then we're going to roll over, we're going to do uh, 15 seconds on here, 15 seconds on the side, 15 seconds on your front, 15 seconds on your other side. I'm going to whip through that, just one after the other. This is part of the warm-up. And then we're going to go into the exercises of dish, front and back. Okay. Give yourself a little bit more space. So when you go onto your side, again you can use this hand to push you up. Feet are going to go up, hands are going to go up. Again, just 15 seconds. Now for the front, uh, for this one, we're going to go hands and feet in the air, as you'll see from this video. I'm going to spin around, give myself a little bit more space. I'll move around to a better spot in a minute. So, okay, so that is your warm-up. Do them whenever you want. Um, do them when you straight get back from off the bike because uh, you're fairly warmed up already so just a quick warm up like with some dishes and then you can get down into the uh, to the proper workouts um, or you know do them first thing in the morning do them in the afternoon with your stretches whenever whatever as long as you're doing them uh, try and do them sort of like twice a week you're good um, any more than that is, is an added bonus okay so we're going to get into the workout now uh, yes I'm lying flat on my back <laughs> I'm just resting before we get into it because it's quite hard um, I'm going to do, uh, so I suggest for you guys to start off with 30 second turns, so 30 second on, 30 second rest, 30 second on, 30 second rest, you do that, we're going to do three of each, so three on your front, three on your back, so your total workout time is like six minutes, so although it's six minutes it's pretty hardcore, so that's why I'm lying down, just resting, getting ready for it, so um, yeah, we'll get into it, I'll put the camera over there so you can see uh, better when we're doing it, um, I've got my stopwatch ready, so actually I'm doing 45 second, 45 second uh, stints, uh, sessions, reps, and, uh, and I'm just going to bang it out one after the other. So the back one, we've shown you how to do the dish on the back, uh, and I will show you how to do the front when we get rest, and then you go back over, so back front, back front, back front. You'll get it. Watch the video. Okay? So I've just got it on a countdown timer. All you're just going to think about again is that although you're doing nice, you're doing different shapes and you're doing something different. You've got to think about your core, 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 and just make sure that your back is flat on the ground. And if it's not, you need to adjust your uh, hands and legs to to compensate for that. To make sure it's nice and flat and it's very, very tense. You'll find it's quite hard. Everything will start shaking. But um, 
concentrate, suck it out, get it done. Okay, let's go. What I'm probably going to do is I might stick some music over the top of this and we'll speed it up. You don't want to sit here watching me doing this the whole time. So I've got an hour, I'm resting for 45 seconds before we go into the front one. Now the front one, I'll just quickly give you that. You're going to go, uh, your feet are going to stay on the floor. Um, toes down, whatever, whatever. You are going to suck. You're going to tighten all of this up, really, really stiffen all of this up. You're actually going to suck your core in so you can see that I can put my hand underneath there. And I'm pulling one my core in like that. And now I'm going to raise my arms off the ground and, uh, and keep, your, you keep your nose on the ground or chin, whatever, whatever. But you are, the idea is your back's relaxed. You suck all that in, get it all up. That's it, you just need your six minutes. Oh, you gonna sit down. <laughs> oh, that's it, and that is your whole core workout. This is the, the core fundamental training you need to do to strengthen your core muscles front and back, side to side, and will make you stronger on the bike. In a later video, I'll show you the, we can go through the biomechanics of that, how the pedal stroke works and how this pushes that, and how you get your strength, etc., etc., that kind of thing on the bike, but for now, this is a nice basics that you need to get right and do this at least twice a week. If you can do it more, that's great, but give yourself a, a day in between rests. So you can do day on, day off, day on, day on. You could do like three or four times a week. But if you just do two really, really good ones, you're on to a winner. Like I said at the beginning, we're going to do some fun stuff. I see the video is going to roll on a little bit here. So what I'll do is uh, I'll put together a bit of a montage of some cool things you can do. Uh, put a comment at the bottom, hit the subscribe button, put your comments at the bottom if you, uh, for whichever ones you like the look of and you want a video and tutorial of how to do that, okay? Run VT.